Autonomous Tunnel and Exploitation Effort is a coalition warfare program between the United States and the Republic of Korea focused on advancing robotic and autonomous system capabilities in support of the subterranean exploitation and classification mission. The Autonomous Tunnel Exploitation's primary mission is identifying, reducing the threat uh, identified in the Korean Peninsula when exploiting and classifying underground facilities. A lot of our focus here is developing the mapping capabilities, integrating various sensory inputs into that map to provide the soldier a better situational awareness prior to entering the facility themselves. We've taken various technologies um, and we mostly customized um, open source into address issues is in terms of 2D, 3D spatial mapping in a GPS denied environment, obstacle detection, all being generated on that 2D map in real time. The technology has an other opportunity to expand beyond the subterranean and the Korean mission to also include a utility for the EUD mission and the CBRN mission by providing those users the ability to deploy a robotic system inside a building, understand the layout of the facility, identify where the threat is, and then do the threat assessment without having to be present inside a building. The host platform, it, uh, it's called the GVR Bot platform. It's pretty much a GVSC design and engineering effort that we uh, built in-house to design a research uh, R&D platform so that programs like ATE can utilize a small robotic asset and have the plug and play capability and also have the software interface to be open and accessible. So the perception sensors, our main ones for mapping, are going to be our two Velodynes. So you have uh, VLP-16 for the horizontal, which provides a 2D representation of the environment, and then a vertical back VLP-16 high-res model. We started out on the project leveraging the RTK uh, software that already exists for the larger platforms. Those primarily utilize a LiDAR system. So the sensor works by shooting out beams of light into the environment and then it passively interprets the return and uses that with the speed of light and some other physics parameters to detect how far an object is as well as the intensity return you get from it can help you to a certain degree detect the material that sensor might be. What our technology is targeting is to help automate certain processes, certain tasks that the warfighter currently does in a subterranean environment, thus lessening the burden, both physical and cognitive, um, on the warfighter. We're gonna operate indoors where there's going to be glass, there's gonna be mirrors, there's not going to be grass, there's not going to be trees or branches. So we need to have different perception in how we can uh, see the world around us. We need to be able to see those obstacles and avoid those obstacles. As we move into year three, our focus will be optimizing the autonomy and obstacle avoidance. Wrapping up year three later this year in September uh, with a joint demonstration uh, with our coalition partners, Rock ADD.